Hi everybody and welcome to this Ableton Live 11 update video. My name is Matthias and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, comping in Ableton Live 11. We're going to take a look at the new sound banks. We're going to cover the macro variations and macro presets. And we're finally also going to take a look at some of the new effects in Live 11. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like and that notification bell so that you get a notice as soon as I drop new videos. Let's take the tour. Right, so here we have a basic small arrangement and we're going to look at how to do uh, recording takes or comping. So I have a basic uh, little string arpeggiated guitar here in the background. And we have a patch of uh, the upright piano from Spitfire Audio, which is part of the new Ableton Live 11 core library. You also have a string quartet and a brass quartet, courtesy of Spitfire Audio. And these libraries sound really, really good, so we'll talk about these uh, later in the video here. But let's begin by recording a few passes of uh, piano here on this little piece. And then we will go into these takes and select our master take from these uh, improvisations. But what you do is uh, you select a part of your track like this. You set uh, Ableton to loop mode and then just fire away record and start to improvise. Right, so we can see here that we have a few different lanes and these are our different takes uh, for this uh, piano improvisation. And you can obviously preview some of these takes by just uh, pressing this little speaker icon here and press play. But now we want to select parts and pieces uh, from these different takes and uh, make our master take. And to do that we activate the pen tool by pressing B. And now we can select uh, parts here, maybe draw a section from the first part. Then we want uh, a little part from our B section here. And finally maybe a little bit of this part. And then we can end with yeah, part from the second part here. Press uh, B again, and now the track up here will show the master take. If you want to hide or show the take layers here, you can just press uh, Command, Alt and U. And then we will hide the take folders. Let's open that up again by pressing Command, Alt and U. And now we want to consolidate this uh, master take. So just select our portion here and press Command and J to consolidate this recording. And now we can basically just uh, get rid of the lanes down here. And now we have our master take. And this is quite similar to how comping works in Logic Pro X and I really like this workflow. I really wish that the Bitwig developers uh, take a look at uh, how comping works in Ableton Live 11 and also in Logic Pro X and in implement a similar solution. But that's basically how you work with comping with audio and MIDI in Ableton Live 11. Okay, so let's continue and look at some of the sound libraries. Right, so in this small demo I was using the upright piano from Spitfire Audio, which is part of the new Ableton Live package. And I was also using this long all-in-one preset from the string quartet, also by Spitfire Audio. 
And now is a good time to talk about the macro functionality in Ableton Live 11, because you have all these macro variations. So you can basically set up a kind of a variation here, and then you can create a new macro variation. And you can have a few of these in here, and you can also update them if you make changes like this, and just press this little camera icon, and then you will freeze that setting into that new macro. So that's a great way to have a few different uh, macro presets, which you can uh, jump between. And uh, on this uh, little cue, I was using the Super Sultasto strings variation, and it sounds like this. So that's a really nice uh, and warm string sound. You seldom hear uh, these kinds of really nice string sounds in uh, in the native core packages with with the DAW. But uh, yeah, the Logic package has uh, nice string sounds. But I think that this is uh, uh, superior the Logic string package. Then we can go and listen to the flutando, which is another kind of articulation. And they work also very nice uh, with this uh, dynamic expression setting. I've attached this to my uh, CC controller here. It's the machine I am that I'm using as a, a CC controller. So that's a really sweet uh, string quartet sound. Let's listen to the normal strings. And we have the sul point uh, macro setting. But they work uh, very nice when you start to control them with the expression control like this. And now finally let's listen to the tremolos, the tremolo macro. So that's uh, all in all a very nice uh, string package uh, right in your hands with this new Ableton Live 11 update. 
Now let's go ahead and look at some of the presets in uh, the Brass Quartet library. So let's just add up another MIDI track here and add uh, the all-in-one Longs Brass patch. Then there's a softer variation of uh, of the brass if you press uh, if you use the macro air or hollow. So let's try the air preset. Now is a good time to uh, try out some of the new effects in Ableton Live 11. So we will go into the audio effects here, reverbs and load up the hybrid reverb. So this is a combination of uh, convolution reverb and algorithmic reverb. And you can select the variations here for the convolutions and the blending. Let's see if we can just use this dark hole algorithm in combination with the Ableton Studio backwards. Maybe increase the decay slightly there, so we have a more lush reverb. Let's try a longer reverb and select some of the other presets here. Let me try this one. Right, so that's a little bit about the effects and the new sound packs within Ableton Live 11. If you want me to do another video showcasing more of the effects and more of the sounds, please write that in the comments. My name is Matthias and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the like and notification bell so that you get a notice as soon as I release new videos. Now you can continue and watch my next video. See you in the next episode. Bye!